neither of which have the name on them. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today. And as far as favorites this time, I think I'm just getting excited for fall because I kind of moved a little bit more towards the fall-ish kind of favorites, like a little bit more warm toned. Um, I love this neutral lip combo, a warm cheek. So I think I'm just getting excited. Are y'all getting excited? So I've got some stuff kind of in that sort of family. So yeah, that's the favorites we're gonna be chatting about. If you are new to my channel, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do favorites, get ready with me's, new with drugstore, review videos, um, some fashion content, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we're chatting about favorites, so let's get to it. For eyes, I really kind of kept it overall pretty simple. I feel like this right here is just an example of an eye look that I'm always going to enjoy. I'm always going to feel just myself in and confident in. And it's just this kind of warm, bronzy sort of an eye look, like bronzy golden. So the base colors are from the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette. I do love the full size heat palette. I mean, that is beautiful. But y'all know I love a little cute tiny palette. And this is a cute little tiny palette. And it's so good. I mean, it's amazing quality. I mainly reach for this one right here. I have a little bit of this on the inner corners of my eyes. It's kind of more on the soft side. I do have that as my cheek highlight as well. So pretty. And then I do have a little bit of this in my outer corner, but a tiny little bit. I didn't go over the top with it today. One day I did for sure. I love this color. I mean, if you love a rusty shade, that one's beautiful. I'll swatch the next one for you too. How beautiful is that? Oh my gosh. These are blendable and easy to work with really, really good quality. Oh my gosh. This palette is so pretty. I think I'm just always going to be an Urban Decay. Um, I was going to say naked palette, but really just Urban Decay shadow gal because I love their shadows. They've always been one of my favorites. They are just pigmented, wear so well on the eyes. This one is just beautiful. It's warm and it it has that kind of orangey tint to it that's not over the top, but it's still just that really rich, warm shade. Oh, I just love it. Shout out to my shirt. Ooh, I don't want to, hang on just a second. Didn't want to get my swatch fingers on my shirt, but shout out to the shirt. This is from Amazon. I love this. I think this is so cute. It is lacy and then kind of a almost like a peplum sort of a fit at the bottom. It kind of gathers and then it goes out. Can you see it down there? Yeah, it's kind of lacy at the bottom. I just love it. I don't know if I stayed in focus there, but you get the idea. Um, I don't know if this is still in stock, it comes in different colors, but I will link it for you so you can check it out and see if it is still in stock in your size. I love this. I think it is so cute and looks really high end and it was super affordable. Also was reaching for a couple of cream shadow crayon type things. These are just so easy and can just get you out the door quick. I mean, you could just throw some bronzer in your crease and put this on your lid and you're out the door. It's so easy. These are really good too. I'm babbling. Let me get to the product. <laughs> this is the Milani Gilded Shadow Stick and I have it in two colors neither of which have the name on them, but one is kind of a golden coppery sort of color and one is a light kind of champagne pink. So I don't know if I can find the names, I will link it down below. Well, I'll definitely link it, but if I can find the names, I'll list the names down below for you. If not, there's not like a ton of these. So, you know, not like there's 15 shades to try to figure out which one it is. Anywho, these are so creamy and blendable, really, really good quality, and they last very well on the eyes. I'm trying to make a perfect swatch, and it doesn't matter. It really does not matter, Leslie. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> there it is. Super pigmented, really pretty, very rich in pigmentation. So this one is more 
coppery golden is how I would describe that one. And this one is kind of a, a champagne, but it's got kind of a peachy pink sort of a, a tone to it. They're just beautiful. So yeah, I've got this. Um, I've got the coppery golden color on most of my lid and then just a little bit of this kind of more on the inner corner and just inner part of my lid. So inner corners and then inner part of my lid. Um, and I kind of blended it out to make it a little bit softer, but you could, you know, really kind of like leave it full on so it looks more metallic. But I really like the formula on these. Sometimes, you know, with shadow sticks, it's like they have to be that perfect combo of creamy enough to blend and not drag and pull on your eyes because that can get patchy. I don't want things pulling on my eyes. So you don't want it like that, but you don't want it too creamy where it just moves everywhere and doesn't stay well. This is that right in between perfect combo, really well done formula. Love them. Then for blush this week, I have a couple of kind of warm toned blushes. I love both of these. If you have a Merle Norman in your area, but I think you can order this online too. I'm pretty sure. I'll link it down below for you so you can look into that. Um, their blushes are really, really good. The Lasting Cheek Color Blushes, I feel like they are kind of a hidden makeup gem out there because I don't know, they're just not really talked about, but they're really, really good. Very good formula. So the Merle Norman Lasting Cheek Color, and this is in Wild Ginger. I love this. I love the formula on it. Very blendable, really beautiful, just kind of flattering um, finish on it. I would say it's overall just kind of a satin finish. And this color is so pretty. It's that blush bronzer kind of a situation where it is both, really. Kind of a twofer. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And this formula is that as I describe it, which makes no sense, that buttery sort of a formula where it is just so blendable and easy to work with and really beautiful and flattering on the skin. Doesn't accentuate texture, just that beautiful, just perfect amount of tiny bit of glow on the skin where it's not matte, where it kind of grabs onto texture, but it's not hyper glowy where it also grabs onto texture. You know what I mean? Just that little bit of a satin glow. Oh, it's amazing. And the color I would describe this as, dare I say terracotta, like a rosy terracotta. Oh, I love it. It's so good. Another amazing formula with this one. This is the Persona Super Blush in Terracotta. I'm trying to think. So this was sent to me as PR and I think that's it. I try to remember to tell you guys that. So this was sent to me as PR from Persona. So it's the Super Blush in Terracotta. Oh my goodness. If you haven't tried their blushes, they are amazing. The formula is amazing. And this one is such a perfect fall blush color. I know we're not into fall yet, but like I said, I'm just like, I'm, I'm excited about that kind of makeup. So I always love warm tone makeup. I always love a coppery eye look. So this is nothing like super profound but I just get really excited about fall makeup. So I think that's kind of what drove me to kind of pull some of those colors out of my collection. This is amazing. How pretty is this? So this is definitely warmer than the Merle Norman. It's less rosy. It is definitely more of um, like a, this is gonna sound weird, but like a golden orangey side of a bronzy sort of a shade but still really pretty. I have both on today. So I have the Merle Norman and this one. A little bit more of this one and then the Merle Norman kind of more on um, the high points of my cheeks, kind of right on them, or the apples of my cheeks. But yeah, this is another amazing formula, super blendable, um, that satiny finish that's really flattering and forgiving on the skin. Pigmented, you don't need a lot. So that's one thing about this one, you don't need a lot of product, just get very little on your brush and then kind of buff it and it just blends effortlessly. It wears so well. Their blushes are incredible. One of my favorite formulas for sure. And then lip combo favorite for the week. Oh my goodness, how pretty is this? A really kind of warm toned neutral combo. So first off the LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liner in Gingerbread. I just resharpened it so I could swatch it for you guys, trying not to open it and get it all over everywhere. 
So here it is, really beautiful neutral shade, kind of a, a brownie neutral, is how I would describe it. Great formula. You can totally fill in your lips with these liners and they work great that way. Really, really good formula, super affordable. So that is the liner and I mainly just have that around the outsides of my lips and just brought it in a little bit to blend it with the lipstick. This is one of these Sephora glossy lipsticks and I don't know the number but I'll figure it out and put it below for you. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know. Tiny writing and it's like white writing on top of metallic-y reflective packaging. So, yep, yeah, that's, that's not gonna happen, me being able to figure that out. This is a beautiful kind of peachy neutral shade. So pretty, and you can see how they kind of combine together to make this beautiful combo. And I feel like a lot of times just nude lip combos that I end up really liking are a, totally an accident. Like I just grab something like this, and then I go, what lip liner do I want to put for this? Well, what? just grab a lip liner, and then it, it ends up working really well. This would work really well with Maybelline Dusty Rose, another one of my favorites. So that's another option if you want less of a kind of a brownie side of a neutral. If you want more of a pinky side of a neutral, you go with um, Dusty Rose. That one's kind of a peachy pink. So that's another option, but obviously this is gonna go with a lot of different things, whatever you wanna pair it with. But great glossy formula. These really look like a lip gloss in a lipstick form. So nice, they're really hydrating and comfortable feeling on the lips. Not super long wearing because they are so glossy and um, it's not like they move everywhere, but they're just so hydrating and glossy. They're not going to stick around on the lips like a matte lipstick would, but I still really like them. They're affordable. I have a couple of colors in them, both neutrals, and I love them both. Okay, you guys, so those are all my favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you've been loving or maybe not so much loving recently. Let me know what you've been up to. I would love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.